Hello to everyone. Oh my god, I needed that broken witch heart and I didn't get. Sweet! Oh my god, I got a whole four hearts. That is sweet! Uh, welcome back everyone to yet another episode. Exciting! Humongous big deal episode of Bayonetta 2. That sounds like there's gonna be that angel dragon that's gonna pop up at any moment. Like so! Is it a earthquake that he should have. What the hell? You see that? What? Where Where the fuck am I? Oh! Okay, okay, there he is. <laughs> sure, just because you asked, tall, dark, ugly, that makes total sense. <laughs> No, it won't. Okay. You asked for it. You asked for it. Okay. I didn't do the break. Let's move. Okay. Okay. I got you. How awesome of a fight is this? Apparently we're already in the skies because I cannot see the ground. Oh, okay, we are really in the skies. Didn't thought so. <laughs> How cool is this game, man? How cool can it get? Alright, there we go. Use that combo, bitch, and we're gonna do it. Oh my god, that witch time use is so useful. So useful. Uh, sometimes I'll go and say something, the brain this move can be a little bit finicky to use uh, because sometimes you just double dodge or something like that or you hold it for just to split us a second and it will initiate the um, breakdance move even though you didn't want to activate it. So it's a little bit of a problem that I have, not that big of a deal obviously because I'm able to fight even though because of that but it can create for some uh, nasty surprises if you just want to dodge or you just activate a witch sign and wanted to make some more powerful combos, stuff like this. So, uh, I just feel like mentioning because there are, despite, uh, I, despite I did find Bayonetta to refine, um, uh, to refine the first game with, in terms of combat mechanics, I do find that there's a little bit of a problem with, uh, finickiness, if I can say that. Alright, let's finish this off! Stomp this face! Oh my god, look at that booty. Oh my god, that was an awesome fight! Gotta go! I'm impressed! Business about. Not a clue, love. Oi! Well, whatever. If your sovereignness is going to get in my way, our deal is over. And if we're going to have to meet any more of your friends, you'd better learn to take care of yourself. I'm quite alright on my own. Got it? Your tricks aren't going to work forever, little one. <laughs> More tricks, little magician. Maybe you've got more to offer than I expected. For the time being, though, stay here and don't get frisky. There. That is the one, is it not? Yes. I will never forget that face. Am I the only one to believe the, the <laughs> design? Is that a spoiler? I don't know, I could listen, but the guy with the big double sword. This design is so cool. I love it so much. Oh my god, that was a pretty good chapter, actually. 
Gold, 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 silver, silver. Bronze, platinum, gold, gold. A fight that I don't know where I missed it. Gold and gold. If it wasn't for that continue, I would have had a gold award. That's pretty insane. And now uh, what I got? I got silver and two gold and the rest. Leader of the Umbra. Sweet. Oh my god, that was sweet. I actually think, like I said, I believe chapter one is easier than the prologue of this game. So I'm a little bit, um, you know, not in shamble, but weirdened by this? I don't know if I should say that. Oh man, I don't have enough for the shop. Oh, that sucks. Actually, uh, give me a second here. Alright, I just looked at something and my thing was an unlock, which I found extremely weird. Uh, basically, the thing is, uh, I got the alternate costume for Bayonetta 1, but I don't have them for Bayonetta 2. Um, which weirdens me out. I don't understand. So, uh, anyway, let's... We're just hopping into Chapter 2! Out of, I believe, 15 or 16. Like I said, this game is pretty lengthy. This is gonna last for maybe 40 parts. Not exaggerating. So, our fates and our paths cross once again. de la Reine, made of Merine, also known as Diamond Lilies, I think. The name Nerine is derived from the Nereids, or Sea Nymphs. Quite appropriate for this city. Luca? Will you quit calling me that? I'm not a pet, or a cat! Oh wait, you said Luca. Not used to that. How are you, Bayonetta? No matter where I am, you always know how to make an entrance. Nice glasses. Oh, these? <laughs> Rodan has a soft spot for Shinshu Sake from Japan. It was an easy trade to get him to make these for me. And don't get it twisted, Bayonetta. I'm not stalking you, this time at least. <laughs> Look, I know you've got nothing but secrets. Hell, that goes for anyone, right? But if there's one thing I've learned in my line of work, it's when I found you, I found the story. What on earth are you on about this time? Don't act dumb with me. You know the story better than anyone. The Umbra Witches and the Lumen Sages, two clans that wielded incredible power just 500 years ago. Clans of the Overseer, watching over us all with the eyes of the world. The power to govern light and darkness. But now I know that there really was an Overseer. And this Overseer is the one who created the eyes of the world for humanity. The same ones that the clans held on to so hard. The Overseer was the true creator. The true god of the human realm. The god of chaos. The god of chaos? From what my research has told me, that god used to live right here in Noatu. That's why this place has gateways to each realm of the Trinity of Realities. La Porta del Paradiso, the doorway to heaven, and La Porta dell'Inferno, the real gates of hell. <gasps> Listen, 
I heard about John. What the? <laughs> Some squirrels get all the nuts. You're a lucky little fella, huh? Never took you for an animal lover, Bayonetta. What can I say? I took a liking to one of the locals. So he's your little tour guide, huh? Look, I know this isn't the time to chat. Let me see what I can find out to help you. Just don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Cheshire. Don't you worry about my nose. I can smell trouble when I see it. You just take care of yourself. Luca is a great character, at least if you ask me, I don't know. I'm pretty bad at saying stuff like this, so I shouldn't be the one, maybe I shouldn't be the one saying this. Anyway, uh, quick fact, uh, I've known I've known this very simply, uh, Bayonetta 2 would not have existed if it wasn't from Nintendo. Nobody wanted to support Platinum Games in creating Bayonetta 2. Weird, don't you think? The first game was a pretty big hit and then nobody wanted a sequel. I don't know, I just find this extremely weird. So this is why Bayonetta 2 is an exclusive to Nintendo, because they know uh, they are the only other publisher that wanted Bayonetta 2, so they buy the right to just make Bayonetta 2 an exclusive. Anywho, let's just enter the Muscle Failure. Another reason why I love Nintendo. Well, granted, most people can't hate Nintendo nowadays, but my point still remains. I love these guys. All right, let's see what our challenges is this time. You only deal damage with enemy weapons. I can do that. Oh my god, this is gonna be easy. It's always easy. Well, at least with these. And boom. See, that, was, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Look at this, I'm just tearing this guy apart. And there we go, already done. <laughs> that was crazy, right? The enemy weapons are so powerful. It's nuts. You don't even need weapon. I got a pure platinum. That's so powerful they are. You don't mess with that book. You don't mess with that, son. They mess with you. Now we're into the new part. Um, just to just to make sure, because I know there's uh, people are kind of confused when I'm talking about this. But um, even though we got a golden LP in the last chapter, which I believe was chapter uh, part in part four, I do believe uh, there's no golden LP in every uh, chapter. Because that would make, well, that would make Bayonetta extremely versatile. Um, I'm just not the case here. Uh, you want to go down here because I believe we can get a broken witch heart, and I'm not sure about a Mesophalian. We'll just have to see. I believe it's over here. Oh, it's got to be a broken witch heart. Yep, knew it. <laughs> Oh my god. I love this game, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. I can tell. And there we go. I believe that's the only thing that was down here. If I can just go up. Traveling inside the water is far too slow. Sorry if I'm just losing a little bit of my... Oh! Who are you? Oh my god, you're weird. Oh, your eyes aren't in the right place. And Rapture. What is in Rapture? I know I'm not the best when it comes to English language, but that's pretty weird. Oh my god. Uh, in Rapture, basically, the, the, the mage caster, uh, you know, they just heal and enhance uh, the enemy's capability. You want to take care of him as soon as possible, which comes to yet another problem, uh, for me at least, in the Bayonetta universe. Um, Locking onto enemies, to specific enemies, is almost impossible. 
or at least in my case, I cannot find a decent and effective way to lock on to the enemy that I want. I know there's a way to like switch. Drop a butterfly. Okay. Uh, I I know there's a way to like change. Oh my god, what is that thing? I never gotten this before. Oh my god, that's pretty cool actually. Oh shoot. Uh, what is what is that? Do? What does that do? Okay, does that suck the life energy out of some dudes? I don't know. Um, yeah, I might just say my point now. Silver, fuck you. Um, but basically, goddamn, I already forgot what I was saying. But basically, yeah, the lock-on feature, uh, it's pretty weird because once you lock onto an enemy, um, I believe you can just use the right analog stick or something like this to change uh, which enemy you're, you'll be facing. But the fact of the matter is, most of the time it just locks onto something that is uh, farther away. It's not close enough or something like that and it just annoys the hell out of me. Like, why wouldn't you want to close into something close to lock onto something closer and stuff like this. It's not that big of a deal obviously but something that really annoys me and I just feel like mentioning it. What's wrong? Now this is awesome. You just witch time that wave so you can get across. How fucking cool is this? I've never seen a witch or a sage for that matter pull off something like that. <laughs> Come on, love. Y you think I'm just going to tell you my secrets when I don't even know whose side you're on? All right. It seems I can control the remembrance of time. That's a big deal here. It seems... I mean... No. I got nothing else to say, love. The remembrance... of time. What's that you're looking at? Right, let's go. I've got a party and I've no intention of being late. Alright. Here we go! Smash that door open! No, but seriously, how goddamn cool- Oh! Secret fight now, is it? Oh my god, you're all dead. <laughs> oh my god, my nose. I think it's bleeding. Oh, I can't see right. There's tears in my eyes. Oh my god, I cannot see properly. Help me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm doing so horrible today. Oh my god. There we go. That was pretty cool, actually. Oh my god, I think I gotta call something because my, my nose is blocked. Oh, I did bad on damage, but it's so good and everything else. Oh, that's too bad. Well, at least we got something going for it. Let's open, kick open this thing that I've already done. The Room of Praise. Oh! Get another... Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's 20 um, birds like this. I don't know where all 20 are. Uh, in, in my own time, I've caught like 7 of them. So obviously I'm not going for 100%. At least with the birds. Actually, no, I'm not 100% in this game. Sanity and stuff. Uh... Oh yeah, I think this is pretty cool actually. Oh no, we gotta face another guy. Of course. And let's torture attack him. Or don't. And just urban climax. 
Well, that's, just, that's fine with me. I mean, look at that. Oh, I can ride this son of a gun. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Alright. Just smash that. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, I did pretty good on this one, actually. Pure Platinum! Wow! Like this, that's really cool. Like, you cannot deny this. Anyway, guys, uh, we're completely out of time. But if you want to see more, then stick it up for the... Stick it up. <laughs> uh, stay, stay, stay tuned. Yes, it was stay tuned. I forgot all along. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Binding a Two. My name is Oliver Gamer 3 and I'll see you all next time.